hey what's up everyone Murli here welcome back to the AWS cloud demos so we will discuss about the docker environment variables we will get the environment variables from our secrets manager for example imagine your docker image has um, access needs to access the uh, database or needs to access some external apis so you might want to store your api keys or database credentials into a secret location and then get that details to your docker image right so for that reason we will use the secrets manager and also we will use the parameter store so we will see how we're going to use um, different sets of data from uh, your parameter store and from the secrets manager also we will use the uh, aws s3 bucket uh, to store the environment file environment where you can use the environment variables and pull and push it to the docker container okay so we will look into that in a moment um, so firstly let's discuss what is the key difference between secrets manager and a parameter store so basically secrets manager is designed specifically for management of secrets and offer features such as automated secret rotation uh, you can mention the duration if you want and also random password generation so it encrypts all the data at rest in transit and also in transit so there is no option to store unencrypted data okay uh, on the other hand AWS uh, systems manager parameter store provides secure hierarchical storage for configuration data management and secrets management it stores values as plain text or encrypted data right so parameter store supports a maximum size of 4 KB for each entry in the standard parameters and up to 8 KB for each entry in advanced parameters okay so um, and then uh, so basically the key difference here is secrets manager and parameter store is that uh, provide secure storage for sensitive data secret manager is better suited for secrets management offering automated secret rotation and uh, random password generation but parameter store is more appropriate for uh, the configuration data management and supports resource based policies using IAM so it is also worth noting that parameter store allows storing values in plain text while secrets manager only stores encrypted data okay so I hope that's that's uh, enough of um, introduction so let's head over to the AWS snippets um, so you can go to this link github.com slash gitmodli AWS snippets so um, in the ECS CLI directory you can find out uh, the steps to install the ECS CLI where we will be setting up our infrastructure and also we will create our ECS cluster using our ECL ECS CLI command where uh, you will be able to create a cluster quickly and we will also pass the key pair as you can see here you need to set up the key pair for your uh, EC2 instance in order to SSH into it and check the whether the variables are present in or not uh, which are pulling through from the systems manager parameter store and also secrets manager right so as we discussed we will get the environment variables from our secrets manager where you will be pushing your environment variables into the docker containers okay so this is your github uh, link i will paste it in the description box below so please don't forget to like uh, and subscribe to this video and also please please don't forget to uh, add the comments below okay and uh, let me go to the terminal i've already opened my terminal so i can see my uh, readme so i have already set up my infrastructure um ECS core infrastructure if you don't know how to do it i would suggest go back in this repository go to aws snippets and go to ECSCLI and go to the cloud formation and you can use these commands to set up your core infrastructure just copy and paste it uh, to set up your VPC and stuff like that okay and now let's go back to ECSCLI and CLI and now let's do let's copy the ECSCLI's command in order to set up our cluster quickly okay and this is the key pair that I'm using okay so let's give it a moment and it will try and create our cluster in the background and once it is ready we will go ahead and also go to the uh, parameter store so let's go to the parameter store okay so I've already logged into my console over here right so I'm gonna go to uh, systems manager go to parameter store on the left side so create a parameter so let's create a parameter which is of name ECS 
CLI parameter let's say AWS docker CS params and you can put the same thing in the description it's optional by the way and I'm gonna give a string which is of type text or maybe you can do something like of type text so I'm gonna say AWS ECS docker demo okay so this is my value and I'm gonna create a parameter okay so let's remove that and we're gonna put secrets manager maybe um, parameter store this is going to be the parameter store docker ECS let's see and go ahead and create a parameter so we have created a parameter called param docker ECS so now let's copy that and let's go ahead and create another one which is uh, of type encrypted as you can see you can encrypt the sensitive data using KMS so my current account uh, another account so the KMS key ID is this one so now you have created a encrypted parameter so we will be pulling this encrypted parameter from there so this is some encrypted secret so you have encrypted secret here and now this is the KMS key source is my current account and let's go ahead and create a parameter so now that we have created two parameters okay one is non encrypted and one is the encrypted one right so what we're gonna do now is we will go to the secrets manager as well and we will create a environment variables which we will pull uh, into our ECS uh, cluster so now let's store a secret which is of so we are not going to store any credentials we're just gonna simply store some key value pair um, SSM secrets manager secret key secret password so this is encrypted by default okay and you can go to plain text but I, I, I just want to use the key value here and let's go ahead make sure this encryption is selected a secrets manager and click on next and let's name this something my docker secret okay maybe let's okay let's give it a shot and this is my docker environment variable maybe a secret variable all right and uh, let's click on next okay so I don't want to do any automatic rotation because you can specify from four hours you can do automatic rotation but for now I'm just I'm just gonna turn off this automatic rotation and go ahead and click on next and this is the review screen and also you get a bit of code where um, scroll down a bit and you can see in the JavaScript and Java and other languages how you are gonna read the secrets uh, into your code this is probably you can use this in lambda okay but we are not using any lambda so let's now go ahead and store the secret over here let's refresh a couple of times and there you go of my docker secret is now stored in the secrets manager so now that we have stored our um, secrets uh, in the secrets manager we have stored that in a parameter store now let's go ahead and open up this console and let's go ahead and create the okay now that our cluster is also created you can see in the background and now let's go to the ECS elastic container service and this is my ECS EC2 and infrastructure yes my container instance is actually running so now let's check one thing go to your container sorry your EC2 instance so now click on that now if you scroll down a bit you should be able to see your key pair my ECS ENV so now on the left side if you go to key pairs you should be able to see the key pair right so if not go ahead and create a key pair okay so for Windows it could be PPK or something like that but I'm using Mac so I'm, I'm gonna use RSA PM file okay so in my case I've already created so I'm gonna cancel this process right now and my key pair is already there okay um, and go to ECS uh, instance one more time and click on that go to security and click on the security group make sure you have the inbound rule so this is basically allowing 80 okay so but the image that I'm going to use has a different port maybe um, so let me go to ECS 
or maybe let's do something uh, different okay so now let's go to s3 bucket s3 and let's create a bucket and let's store a env variables uh, inside the bucket okay so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to do aws s3 from the console so this way it is pretty much easy for me to create any bucket okay so aws s3 make bucket and i'm gonna do region i don't think i need to give any region because my current region is us east one all right um so i'm gonna name this s3 b and i'm gonna do my account id so what i'm gonna do is first of all let me get the sts um identity get color identity okay so this is my user that i've currently logged into my console if not you're gonna do con aws configure and then get the access keys from your account okay and then configure it but for now i'm not going to do it because it's already there so what i'm going to do in my case just copy just copy this aws s3 make bucket copy from here paste it and then copy the account id i'm gonna create my bucket name like so and let's hit enter so my bucket is successfully created and if i go and refresh this page i'm already in s3 so refresh this page you should be able to see our new bucket okay that's great now what i'm going to do is i'm gonna create a file called env demo.env so um touch env demo.env so i've created a file now i'm gonna do vi env demo.env so i'm gonna edit this file and i'm gonna add something some variables okay let me name this secret secret variable one we secret password is nothing but pc123 okay hit colon escape hit colon wq and that's it so we have now saved the file which has a couple of secrets which is secret variable one and secret password so we have these secrets we want to get these secrets into our uh, aws docker container okay so now that you have created and uh, you have uh, you have created a env demo dot env file into your s3 you have created uh, the ssm parameter store you have created the uh, secrets manager so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my ecs okay so let's go to ecs elastic container service and now click on your default cluster so let's go to the task definitions on the left side so i have already created a image but i'm going to show the task definition again um exp aws docker so and now click on that so i have for example let me go to the exp docker let's create a new task definition instead so now that i'm going to name this exp aws docker ecs one two three and now i'm going to name my container uh, container and where do i get this image url from i have already pushed it to my ecr elastic container registry okay i'm going to open that in a new tab so you can either place your docker image it doesn't matter so my my repository is here so i'm going to just copy that and i'm going to use the use this image inside my ecs so you can use the docker image here if you want but in my case i'm just going to use the private uh, image that i have so which is aws ecs docker and now the container port is the thousand all right and um, make sure that container is 3000 or make sure you, whatever the container port that you're using just just type it here okay so in in my case it is the thousand and then or just wanted to confirm it one more time code commit so i have my code over here open that in the new tab click on repositories aws doc ecs docker and click on the docker file 
yes i'm exposing a port 3000 so make sure whatever the port you are exposing and try to you know just put it here okay so otherwise your container will be running but you don't know where exactly it is running so xp app container i've given my name and next uh, i'm gonna add the environment variables in a moment okay or maybe just add it from here add environment variable so we're gonna get the environment variable from ssm key one so this is my let's say this is i'm getting it from parameter store okay parameter store key one and you're gonna get the value from so where do you get this value from from our uh, parameter store right so how are you gonna get the parameter store so go back to your terminal so do one thing here aws ssm your uh, secrets manager your parameter store ssm systems manager so get this is your systems manager aws systems manager then get parameter and then get name so whatever the name you put here in the um, so let me go to the systems manager and click on the parameter store on the left side and now click on the name that you wanted to get right so this is my name that I have given param docker ECS now go back to your terminal paste this and hit enter so there you go now you got the data for this particular parameter so now what you can do is simply copy this ARN here copy this ARN and going to go to my ECS and you can add this value from here so that uh, it knows where to get the value from right so that's why you have given value from here and it will go to it will reach out to your parameter store and get the value uh, for this particular uh, key okay and now let's go to uh, let's add another one which is ps key 2 and this time we will get the encrypted value value from and go back to here and retype this command with the value encrypted okay and hit enter and there you go you got this value alright so obviously you cannot put this value there you cannot read this value over here because it is completely encrypted and now copy the ARN right from here okay and go back to the keys and add the environment variable here okay so which is nothing but the encrypted one and previously we have added the plain text okay and now also you remember we have added that uh, environment file from the s3 so now click on add environment file and uh, where do you get this environment object from so go back to your s3 bucket and uh, click on your bucket that you have created and did we upload the environment file i think we have only created in my local so how do you you're gonna push that environment file to your bucket so how are you gonna push it so I'm gonna write AWS S3 copy env hyphen demo dot env and then to my bucket S3 dash dash yeah that's the one um, so I'm gonna copy this file local file to my bucket yeah and now the upload is complete if you go back to the window um, just refresh the page you should be able to see your file right and now copy that file um, and copy the ARN that uh, you wanted to put so this is the ARN copy that ARN go back to your ECS and just you can see that bucket name and even file dot env just paste it so that's the URN um, ARN that you want to paste and that's it so now that we have pointed three different environment variables one is coming from your parameter store one is coming from your s3 and we will also get the parameter from your secrets manager right so we have okay let's go to the secrets manager and click on the docker secret and there you go this is another uh, arn that you want to copy so copy this arn and go back to the ecs and uh, let's say this is secrets manager key one okay and now you're getting this value from your secrets manager so let's put this one okay and now that is good and this is your env file we are getting values from the S manager we are getting the values from parameter store we are getting the values from the environment file like so 
and the image that I'm using is my local private image and this is the uh, title definition name okay copy the name and uh, click next and now coming here just choose the lowest one possible because I don't want you to end up creating a massive amount of space for this so you just need 0.5 gigs and for memory and 0.25 vcpu and remove the far gate and choose the ec2 instance type okay so now that we have ec2 instance type it is built linux 86 64 and container size is gonna be i think you can ignore the container size for now and here choose the ecs tax execution role so this is the important bit right and uh, so if i go to the IAM in a different window and click on rules like so and I type ECS task ex execution role so click on that I've attached a policy called Bobby parameter store so if I expand this and click on edit so you will need to give permissions to your parameter store to your S3 bucket so we are assigning the action which is get bucket location and we are giving the access to this particular resource so we are giving uh, access to our ECS to get the bucket location okay um, and uh, the values from you know this is the file that we are giving a permission to our uh, ECS so that it will go and fetch this ENV and pass it on to the docker image okay so uh, make sure you have this and uh, if you don't know how to uh, add this go to my AWS snippets and click on ECS CLI and this is the ECS task execution role and make sure you add your region and your account ID here so that uh, you will be able to get the access okay and make sure ENV demo is also there that's it and copy this uh, and add it to your ECS task execution role and if I go back to the IAM and uh, cancel this and make sure you also add the ECS task execution role policy to your ECS task uh, execution role okay so that it will be you will be able to you know um, access the S3 bucket file so that's it and now you have entered the task role and uh, make sure you have EC2 instances close the storage monitoring and click on next and that's it and go ahead and click on create so now that you have created your docker task definition okay just copy the file name all right and now let's go to the clusters so click on ECS EC2 and now create a service by the way you can also launch a task but um, when you create a service service will internally launch tasks so that's the reason why I have uh, create I'm creating the service and click on EC2 and go ahead and click on the family which is going to be my ECS 123 the latest revision is this one service name is gonna be 123 service it's totally up to you and now go ahead and um, click on so let's see deployment options that's fine failure that's fine yeah it looks good and click on create so there you go we have started uh, our ECS uh, docker so let's wait for some time it will launch a sir launch a task and uh, our infrastructure is already running we have everything in place and one more thing if you go back to your EC2 right uh, so now click on that container instance click on the instance ID right click on that and go to security and if you go to the security groups and in security group we are only allowing 80 right but our container is actually running on 3000 right um, so we're gonna edit the rule and I'm gonna allow all TCP because because I just want to make sure that whatever the random port that is actually creating in the task I, I will be able to access that application so let's see how it works um, click on save rules that's it and now go back to the ECS and the cluster is being created just give it a moment cluster service service is active right now and task is also active right now click on the task and go to network binding so this is the dynamic port that has created right so that's why I have allowed the all TCP but uh, you can also give the um, override this 
port to 80 or something uh, when you create the container uh, task definition right so now click on open address so there you go our our application is actually working so close this window and uh, now let's actually log in SSH into our EC2 instance and see whether the you know uh, the environment variables are actually being passed to our docker container okay so let's go to EC2 click on EC2 and uh, instance running click on instance click on connect and go to SSH and copy this command chamod 400 so this is the usual stuff that I do usually so now let me go to my downloads folder and now let's paste this uh, so in your case if you do not see this file you will probably have to create uh, the file with this name because um, the command that I have given you like go to the CSLI and CLI and uh, click on this readme so you can see it is actually using a key pair so you can rename this and use whatever the key pair that you want to use okay so now let's go back to the EC2 console and uh, let's go back to the terminal and you have already pasted it and go to the EC2 um, yeah this one so copy the SSH command over here and paste it and yes and that's it now we are able to login to our instance so in case you are using windows you you might be uh, using putty so please make sure you log into your ec2 instance uh, follow the steps whatever you would like to follow for the windows so in my case i'm doing mac so um let's continue with the mac version so now that i have logged into my console and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to see if my docker images are docker containers are actually running so docker ps so yeah there are two containers which are running so i'm gonna minimize this font a bit for better visibility um yes there you go i can see my agent is running ecs agent which is here which is fine we don't want agent we want the docker container which is running and you can see this is up for three minutes and this is my uh docker instance which is running okay so let's what we're gonna do is we will copy the container id okay and we will uh, uh, execute command docker exec minus it and command uh, the container id and i'm gonna put env to read all the environment variables so okay so i can already see some environment variables here so there you go you can see the ssm sm key one which is sm you know um, the secret key which is actually coming from your secrets manager right so this is the secret password it is decrypted as well you can see the value which is being decrypted and secret password one two three you remember this is coming from our I believe it's from s3 bucket I believe okay and secret variable one this is definitely coming from s3 and you can see this parameter store uh, and values which are coming from our systems manager parameter store and these values are coming um, and we are now we can now confirm that uh, these environment variables are being passed to our docker container right and you will be able to use the secret password and uh, things like that in your docker container um, okay so i hope this makes a sense and i hope you like this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel please 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 like this video and uh, let me go back to the uh, place again i want to make sure that i will clear everything because in the secrets manager it's actually so i think it will cost you around 40 cents per per key i think so make sure you just remove everything that you have created here i'm so just want to give you a heads up whatever you store here will have implication will have a direct impact on your budget because just delete the secret um and put seven days i think it's minimum seven days right so just put seven days here and schedule a deletion because you don't want to incur any cost for this particular secret that uh, this is actually chargeable so don't uh, use the secret if you are not using it just delete it and schedule it for deletion and go to parameter store also clear all that you have created go to systems manager
and go to parameter store select these two and delete it okay so delete it and go to your cloud formation and like we usually do it just select these and delete your stack so that it, it's going to delete all that you have created right now okay so i hope you really like this video guys please 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 like this video share this video and if you have any questions and please put down in the comment section below i hope you learned something from this video and please don't please do not uh, forget to follow me on github and you can see this is my github id just go ahead and uh, uh, fork the repository if you want and thank you so much and i will see you guys in the next video